Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over on Game Jolt. This is a game called Mythical Graveyard Uprising and it's part of the Indies vs. Gamers game jam that was just recently going on over on Game Jolt that's supposed to determine the top 5 games from the jam being played on Markiplier, PewDiePie, and Jacksepticeye's channels. Now this game looked really really cool, very very promising. It's an arena based shooter game I guess where you fight zombies zombies and ghosts and skeletons and all sorts of crazy stuff with a variety of weapons. Uh, it also uh, is done in a web browser, so there is a little bit of lag that's in it and everyone in the comments was kind of complaining about that, but because it was a game that was made in about 48 hours, you can't blame the devs too much about that. Speaking of, the devs are one of my favorite groups of people who make indie games. They are called Drunk Devs. They made the game um, Full Moon Rising, which I played a while ago. You guys may remember me playing that a very long time ago, and also having uh, lag problems on that game as well. Um, but this game is very, very good looking. It's got those retro style graphics that Drunk Devs does. It's got the retro style music. Um, this game is just so cool. I mean, these skeletons are trying to throw crap at me. There's an XP bar there in the upper right corner. I'm not sure what that does, if that increases my health or makes me harder to kill or what. But there's these ghosty guys who are trying to kill me. Oh, God, that guy that freaking 360 no scope me from across the board with this bone, and there's a right-click function that allows me to dodge incoming attacks like that, but it gives you sort of like a cooldown, like, you can't use it one after another, like, see, I can't use it again, and you sort of pause for a second, which leaves you vulnerable, so if you're not using it right, it can actually really screw you over, but it's awesome, there's a mix of, like, sort of, uh, medieval-style weapons, like, uh, crossbows, things like that, but then I also have a heavy machine gun right now, which is really, really cool, and as you beat all these levels, you get to progress and unfortunately, there, I don't believe there's any way to get your health back. You kind of just keep going through until you die. So it is almost like an Endless Runner style in the sense where you're just trying to compete for the highest score, which is fine by me, you know. Oh my god, what the hell is that? I've never seen that guy before. What the hell? That's a Minotaur, and he slowed down the whole screen. Oh, don't do that, man. Ooh, I got a blunderbuss, so uh, a like a colonial area, or area, a colonial era rifle that, uh, god, that was close. Good thing the screen, the frame rate dropped to a goddamn halt. Um, <laughs> blunderbusses are, like, those colonial-style rifles that, uh, you can only, like, load one shot in it. They're pretty much pointless besides that. Um, <laughs> And then it takes forever to reload, so they only come with one ammo. You'll see there in the upper right bar, there is an ammo bar, which is really, really cool because it will let me know ah, how much uh, ammo I have left. Now, one of the cool things about this game is that at some point... Oh, God, there's more? Jesus, I thought he was like a mini-boss and that I'd beaten him. Um, <laughs> as there are more enemies on the screen, the more it kind of slows down, which gives me this bullet time effect. It's not supposed to do that, but it does kind of help out a bit. I like that part of it. Ah! But as I kill enemies, the enemies are moving, obviously, faster. Oh, hello, sir. I'm going to just blast you in the face here. Point blank range. Yeah, sucker. Boom. Uh-oh. 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 Don't touch me, bro. Oh, come on, man. That was very uncool. All right. I think I have a shotgun now. Yep, shotgun time. Right up in your face. See, I don't know if my level going up actually gives me any life or benefits. If I'm doing more damage, maybe? I don't know. I can't tell. I'm getting hit by everything right now. This is the worst. This is the absolute worst. Oh, don't don't just hop there. Oh, oh yeah, get away. Yeah, and see how he freezes just for a brief moment. So you can totally bone yourself if you don't <laughs> bone yourself as I was getting hit by bones. Didn't even mean to do that one, guys. Did not mean to do that one. Um, <laughs> yeah, surprise, surprise. Um, <laughs> but if you, uh, if you uh, do that at the wrong time, you can completely screw yourself as far as, uh, you know, setting yourself up for getting hit by a barrage of ghostly poop bullets, whatever the hell that guy was just shooting at me. But this is a really fun game. I, I really, really enjoy it. I really hope that the devs, um, after, uh, after this game jam, keep developing this game, because I love their full releases that they've had. Uh-oh, I ran out of arrows from a bow. Oh, God, Jesus, that was almost like a across the board. We can give that guy his kill streak already. Ah, crossbow, a little bit faster, right? I don't know. I don't know, I'm still missing. I'm missing everything. Ha! Ah. Yeah, let's take a second to just stare at each other, Skeleton. I don't have enough life to go into this next level. I'm gonna get killed immediately. But Drunk Devs does a really good job of, like, making these very appealing, super fun 
style games that I would love this one to be a full release. I would play it, definitely, especially if they get the frame rate issues worked out a bit. But there's so many creative games that have come out of this game jam. I'll be playing a couple more of them. Oh, Jeebus! Whoa, I didn't think he hit me. What a jerk. What a jerk o -stein. Oh, God, I'm frozen. I'm frozen. Oh, oh. Not like the movie, either. Oh, my goodness gracious. I might as well be frozen with this freaking... This frame rate. Oh! So I'm assuming as the game goes on, you, there's more and more enemies on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> God. I, I'm like in bullet time right now, I, I'm sw I swear. And I swear it's not my computer either, guys. Like I said, there was a whole bunch of people that were saying in the comments that, oh, I just walked right into him, didn't I? Right in the comments that there was a little bit of a, a lag because this is only in web browser. Unlike a lot of game Joel games, you can't download this one, unfortunately. But I will leave a link in the description below. This is going to be a shorter video just because a lot of these games, since they were designed in 48 hours, they don't have a lot of super deep elements of the gameplay. This is about as much as I've seen from it, from like watching other people's videos and... Uh, playing this game myself a couple rounds before I started recording this. But you guys can try it out yourself. I'll leave a link in the description below. Go ahead, support the dev, give them a good rating, etc. Um, when I checked last on this, this was doing pretty well in the game jam. But like I said, they're compiling votes right now, so there's no way to tell who's the winner, who's the loser, etc. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye-bye. And then here come the boats, and the boats are gonna go under, and everything's gonna be fine, and things are good, and oh yeah. Okay, this one, now it, the bridge better have sustained. Oh no, my mother. Fuck. <laughs>